Hello, my fellow vidiots, Uniterica here. So, I wanted to take a moment here. Um, I've had a number of messages off of a previous video that I released about using the default launcher to load the Minecraft mods that you can download through the Twitch app without having to use the Twitch app to launch them. Now, there's a couple of things that you kind of need to know because a number of the questions I've been getting is, hey, this is crashing, um, it's not working, it's stalling out, and as it turns out, a lot of the times is that there's an incorrect Forge version being loaded, or Java's not installed, or it's an it's actually been an error um, from the mod pack having been downloaded from Twitch. Now, the point behind doing this is that when you have the Twitch app loaded, you get notifications, you can get chats from your friends, and that's a lot of bandwidth going back and forth. And sometimes that can actually prevent your Minecraft from being able to run. So, loading it through a default launcher without the Twitch app loaded just frees up that amount of memory and, and on slower, low-end PCs can actually free up enough bandwidth that it doesn't cause errors, um, especially if you're playing on a server, or allows you to have memory free so that your pack won't crash. Now, there's a couple of things that are key to knowing. One, Twitch, the, the Twitch app has its own Java that's separate from the Java installed on your computer. On top of that, the launcher that Twitch uses is a different launcher than, say, you would download from Minecraft.net. Well, it's the same launcher, but it's in a different directory, so it's like a separate launcher. And that plays a key part because sometimes if the Minecraft launcher has updated through Minecraft.net and Twitch ha the Twitch app ha doesn't have it updated yet and you have both installed on your system, that can actually cause an error and keep you from being able to load your Minecraft. So usually what I do is I download my mod packs through Twitch, but then I just open them using the default Minecraft launcher that you would download from Minecraft.net. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in this video as to how to do that. Now the first step you want to make sure that you have is that you have Java itself actually installed on your computer rather than using the one that the Twitch app brings over. And you can easily go to www.java.com um, and you can then hit free Java download and that will take you then to being able to download the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Um, and it's important that you install the correct version for what you need. Once you have that installed, <coughs> pardon me, once you have that installed, then what you're going to want to do is open up your Twitch app, which I already have mine open, but, and you're going to want to, say, set up a mod pack. Now, in this case, I already have all of these set up in my default launcher, so I'm going to download a brand new mod pack, and I'm going to want a light mod pack. As I said, I already had this on my system once, but I deleted it so that I could re-put it into this system. So, we're going to install MIDI Pack Lite. So we will click the install, and as you can see, it's going to install the pack. Now, while this is installing, it's important to note a couple of things after this gets done installed. One, you need to know the version number of Minecraft that it's going to use, and then you're going to need to know which Forge version that it uses. These are very important because you will need to install the correct Forge version and make sure that you've got it set up for the correct Minecraft version when you go to put it into the default launcher. Now, that that's installed, what we're going to do is go to View Profile of the Pack. As you can see here, it'll tell you what version Minecraft it is and what the Forge version is. Just because there may be a later Forge version out, guys, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work with the packs. If a pack requires a specific Forge version, make sure you download and use that Forge version. So in this case, we need to have 10, 13, 4, 16, 14. So what you can do is you then go to 
the Minecraft files.minecraftforge.net, select the correct version, which this was 1710, correct? Yes. Okay, so you will download, you will click on 1710. And now in this case, this actually is the final version. Now, I'm using the Windows installer because for me that's a, a whole lot easier. Oh, there we go. You will click on it to download this. When this comes up, you guys, okay, wait right here until you say, until it says please wait, then hit the skip button. Then it will come up and download, okay? It's not a very long download at all, so just let it continue to download. Once it completes, go on ahead and open it, and it should ask you, do you want to go on ahead and install this? You can close that window. Now when this comes up, you will want to just install the client version and make sure that it's put to your default Minecraft directory. In this case, that's my default Minecraft directory. You'll hit client only, hit OK, and it will go through. Now, I already actually have that one installed. So, Okay, once you have your pack downloaded, okay, what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to run the pack from the Twitch app once. Okay, the reason for that is so that you can actually get the settings that you need to be able to run it through the default Minecraft launcher. Now when it comes up, you'll notice that it actually says the 1710 Forge with the thing Needy Pack Light. And now what you're going to want to do is actually click on Launch Options, go into this right here, you'll notice 1710 with that, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually copy, just through a text editor, you're going to want to copy the, oh, wrong button, you're going to want to copy the game directory, and you're going to want to copy the Java arguments. Okay. And we're just going to minimize this. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to close out of the standard Minecraft launcher. We'll close that. Once that's done, then we can actually go on ahead and close the Twitch app as well. Then, once that's done, we're actually going to then open the, the, the standard default Minecraft launcher. Now, with the default launcher loaded, what we're actually going to do is we're going to click on Launch Options, and having installed the correct Forge version, which was this one right here, we're going to click on that and make sure that that's, and we're just going to rename this the Meaty Pack, oops, spell it right, the Meaty Pack Lite. We're going to click on the game directory, and we are going to copy the lines that we took from the Twitch, the Twitch launched version of Minecraft. And in the JVM, we'll paste this. And then we'll save. Now, what that will do is that will actually add Meaty Pack Lite into our default Minecraft launcher. So that when you click on it, you will have a meaty pack light right there and that way when you press play it will actually go on ahead and what it will do is it will load the twitch app installed mod pack 
but it installs it through the regular Minecraft launcher. So you don't have all the other background stuff that the Twitch app loads to continue to keep running. And the important part about that, though, is to make sure that, one, you have the right mod version, the right Forge version. You have you know exactly what version um, of Minecraft that you're going to need to be able to download the right Forge version, and that you have Java installed on your computer. And the reason for that is, is because we're not using the Twitch app standalone Java. What we're actually using is the Java that's installed on the computer from the Java uh, website that the pack is loaded just fine. Now, as you can see, the pack is actually loaded. All the mods are there. The correct Forge version is right there. And the, the uh, Minecraft loaded just fine. This is the exact same mod pack that Twitch, that the Twitch app downloaded in the actual directory that it downloaded. But what we did is we actually took the Twitch app away from loading it and we loaded it to the default. Um, again, it's one of those things whereby the reason why I do this is simply because um, the Twitch app has been known um, if you have both the Twitch app and you have the default Minecraft launcher on your server, or on your system. Um, occasionally, the Twitch app will not be able to update the Minecraft um, launcher because you already have an updated Minecraft launcher that you got from Minecraft.net on your system. Or, there may be where the Twitch app is um, having maintenance run on it, or that there are issues with a, a Java conflict between the one that's in the Twitch that comes with the Twitch app and the one you have installed on your system. This just alleviates those problems by basically saying, "I'm going to download the app through the Twitch app, but then I'm going to load it through the default Minecraft launcher." Now, once it's loaded up. Um, and you have it set in your default Minecraft launcher, you can actually have the Twitch app open if you wanted to use that, say, for chatting um, or for, you know, notifications, that kind of thing. You're just not running it through the Twitch app. If you're not having issues with the Twitch app, however, um, really you're fine to run your Minecraft mod packs through the Twitch app. There's nothing wrong with doing that. <coughs> I just find that, especially being um, on my laptop and traveling around, sometimes I will get into, say, Wi-Fi networks where I have Wi-Fi, but I have very little broadband. And having the Twitch app open and then trying to run Minecraft, either um, the Minecraft servers can't connect because there's not enough bandwidth. Um, and by running just the default launcher, you remove the necessity of having to load through the actual Twitch app. So I hope that kind of helps to clarify um, the whole point behind that first video, which is that this is a way of being able to load your Twitch Minecraft mod packs without needing to load it through Twitch. You can just load it through the default launcher so that you don't have to have extra bandwidth through the Twitch app going back and forth for notifications, friend requests, friend chats, that kind of thing. Now, I will also note, however, that when you're running on a default setup through the launcher and you've installed Java, it may actually be necessary that you have to go in and set your actual Java parameters through your control panel. There are a lot of videos out there on how to do that. If there, if you ha are having any issues with it, that kind of, um, you know, with the process of that, and um, you are needing help, say, either accessing the Java control panel or what to change, um, feel free to send me a message, and I will gladly help you out on that. But I hope this clarifies a little bit more for you guys how the setup works um, and the reason, the reasoning behind it. 
Um, I know I didn't make that completely clear in the last video, and I've had a lot of questions come in about it, so I'm hoping this helps clear this up just a bit more for you guys. So, until next time, you guys. Laters!